If you're looking for cheap, safe, and reliable MT, make sure you go check out my new sponsor, SafeMBAMT.com. Use code JC2K for 5% off and go build that God Squad you always wanted. Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the best method to complete this Eddie Curry challenge first try. I know a lot of people want this Dark Matter Eddie Curry because it's one of the best centers in the game and he's completely free. This card is an elite option on both ends of the court, and I know that you're going to probably want to add him to your team, especially if you're a no money spent or budget player. Then I think he should be on basically every single no money spent squad in the game because he is super, super elite. And this challenge, while it looks hard, is actually super, super easy. Um, your challenge, obviously, is to score 200 points on rookie in six minutes which sounds like a lot because scoring 200 points is crazy but it's really not that hard and i have a very very simple method to show y'all that will help y'all out to i think complete this challenge honestly with ease um before we hop into this video if you haven't make sure you subscribe help me push towards the uh, 2000 scar mark on the channel and actually i'll make you a deal if this video helps you complete this challenge please make sure you subscribe otherwise all good and you can unsubscribe at any time if you do change your mind but i would appreciate it and i upload videos constantly um hoping to help y'all out and making consistent content so i'd really appreciate your support but um yeah without further ado let's hop into this game and i will show y'all the method to uh complete this eddie curry challenge all right so hopping into a game i'm hopping in at the in, at the end of the fourth quarter um or i mean i guess at the beginning of the fourth quarter because i want to show you how easy this truly is like i said um this is really not a challenge that I think people should struggle with once they know how to do it. But the way that you do it is quite simple. Y'all see me doing it right now. I It's really, on offense, it's as simple as run down the court, stop, and shoot the ball every possession. That's, that's, that's it. You're going to make 95% of shots you shoot. On defense, you want to be in a full court press, and you want to take the people players who are deep down the court, and you want to bring them towards the uh, ball handlers, basically the inbounders. You want to let the opponent score every time. You see how Denver has 123 points? It's not going to matter. You let them score every single time. Since you're making threes every single possession. I apologize. My dog just barked. Um, but since you're making threes every possession, it's going to be really, really easy, in all honesty, to um, outscore them. Like, I mean, as y'all can see, I already have 194 points with three minutes left in the fourth quarter. You literally just let them score every possession and then run down, stop, and shoot the ball. And just shoot over them. You're going to make 30s. You're going to make 40s. Like, you're going to shoot occasionally. You'll shoot a contested shot, even though they don't. their CPU does not contest well at all on rookie. You're going to make a contested shot occasionally. Um, I mean, they're gonna, you're going to shoot a contested shot occasionally. But you're going to make 75% of even your contested shots. Like, you're really not going to miss. I'm going to try to shoot a contested shot right here. See, there we go. I shot a contested shot, and I missed it. But it, that's going to happen. It doesn't matter. I mean, look, I got 197 points. I'm going to get 200 literally without trying and then when you miss and they get an offensive rebound just flop let them score again if you miss a shot that's okay literally just flop that's another strategy you could also just flop instead of running them away from the ball but i just bring the two guys who are down the court guarding the two other D denver players who are down the court toward the ball handler and just give up a wide open to every single possession it's the easiest strategy ever and also not only that but y'all will see when it hits two minutes you can also do this strategy um like it works even better in the last minute of the first, second, and third quarter, and the last two minutes of the fourth quarter. Um, and it works even better because the clock stops between every single basket, whereas it doesn't stop. As y'all can see, the clock is running right now. The clock will stop at the end of every basket in of two minutes, and I'll show y'all that in a second. But that gives you even more opportunities to shoot the ball. And in that situation specifically, see they got the they got the rebound here, so I'm just gonna literally flop. Just let them score. Just let them score. That's it's that simple every possession just let them score but inside of two minutes you can literally just stand at the three-point line catch shoot just just do that inside of two minutes because um when they end in let them score on the other end of the court i like like i've been saying the whole time but let them inside of the last minute of the third quarter uh, see the clock stopped now so inside the last two minutes i can literally just line myself up inside of hall of fame range and then catch and shoot every single time. That was actually a little bit too deep. But, and even if I miss, I'm still gonna get the offensive rebound more than not, more often than not, cause rookie and see, I just run away and just shoot over them every single time. You're pretty much gonna get wide open and open shots 99% of the time. I have 209 points with a minute 51 left in the game. But again, just let them pass the ball in, let them score. And then inside of the last two minutes, since the clock is stopped, put yourself in position to where you can literally just catch and shoot. Outside of the last two minutes, uh, I would, uh, okay, well, I don't know what just happened there. I guess that's fine. Um, but outside of the last two minutes, I would try to just catch it like running up the court. Wouldn't try to waste time putting yourself in in the right situation or in the right spot. I mean, 
See, I just made a 36 right there. I'm telling you, I'll make consensus shots constantly. But inside the last two minutes, you have the time to set yourself because the clock is stopped. So you can literally just, um, you can do what I just did. And um, see, I just made two contestants in a row and just situate yourself where you can catch and shoot immediately off the inbound pass. And again, it's the same thing every single possession. I know it gets boring, but you'll complete the challenge the first try. I have 215 points, and I have have not been doing as well in this fourth quarter since I've been rebounding or recording because I'm not quite as focused on it. But like, again, just shoot every single possession. Literally just shoot over them. It's so easy. This is one of the easiest challenges that I've ever seen. Um, that people are going to complain about because of how hard scoring 200 points in a game is right but it's really not very hard as soon as you just figure out how to do it and be smart because you can literally let the opponent score every single time and just outscore them on three pointers you'll see that it's really not a hard challenge at all don't even try to play defense people are going to try to play exceptional defense and like you're they're not going to get close to 200 points because there's just not enough time you have to just let them score that's the strategy and if they, if they miss just push the ball in transition stop on the break and that's that I mean, as y'all can see, I'm at 221 points right now. Like, this is an easy challenge. I'll, I'll wrap it up in the menu menu once this game is over. All right, wrapping up this game. As y'all can see, I literally won 233 to 148. I scored 33 points more than was required, and it was easy. I could have scored more points than I did. 85%, 85% from three. So you make basically every single shot, even when it's contested. And y'all can see, they shot 83%. I let them score the whole game, but it didn't matter because... I was scoring threes and they were scoring twos. They're gonna take twos the whole game when you use this strategy. And you're just going to outscore them by a ton and you're gonna to hit tons and tons of threes and it's gonna be super, super easy. And I mean, it's really that simple. Y'all can just see the whole game. I just shot threes and I made almost all of them with every single player. So it's basically a foolproof strategy, I personally think. Let's hop back into the main menu and I'll sum this video up. Real, br real briefly, just wanna go over this Eddie Curry card that you are able to get, cause I just got him from completing that challenge as y'all saw. And he's like 95 off driving layup, 93 three pointer, 96 driving like 87 ball handle, elite defense. I mean, this card is elite all the way around. Great rebounder, athleticism for the big, lateral quickness. He's got good tendencies. He's got like what 52 Hall of Fame badges. And I mean, I'm just gonna scroll. I know he's got rim protector and all the shooting badges. He's got gold dimer bailout. Dead eye. Those are the only badges he has in gold that you'd want on Hall of Fame. This card comes absolutely souped. Like, this card is 100% worth picking up. I will have a gameplay out on him soon, but, um, basically i think that this video hopefully was able to help you to be able to get this card easily because it really shouldn't be hard in my opinion to get this card he's um i mean this is a really simple challenge once y'all saw the method that i showed y'all i don't think anybody should struggle to get this card um if you do have any questions make sure you leave them down in the comments below and also if you enjoy this video or if it helps you out please make sure you leave a like leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to help me push towards the 2000 subscriber mark in the channel i upload two to three videos a day every single day and i'd really appreciate your support but yeah that is going to do it for this video i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace